Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of Wednesday Alifia. Now last week I said I would do nouns, but unfortunately that won't be happening. For two main reasons. One, I forgot to mention how to make those special characters. I forgot how to tell you how to make those on a keyboard. For another reason, because I still have to do this, nouns would be too much of a lesson to start working on right now. So that will be next week, and maybe uh, in two parts. So, to begin, I'm going to show you how to make the I two different ways using two different kinds of keyboards. I'm just going to bring you over here. This is one kind of keyboard. It is a regular keyboard, but without a number pad. Now on... See if we can get better quality. Uh, but this keyboard does have kind of a number pad. The numbers are blue, 7, 8, and 9, U, I, O, J, K, L, and M, and the greater than sign, or period. Now that goes with this button, the function button. What you gotta do is press and hold function and alt, and then for uh, the I, it's one, four, one. Now if you want to make the A, it's one, three, two. Okay? Now on a keyboard that does have a number pad, like this one. Oh, by the way, this is my current computer. I've got the avatar background. Uh, on a keyboard with the number pad, you don't have to worry about the function button. You just hold Alt while pressing 141 or 132. Okay. Now, since we're short on time, some useful phrases. Don't try to worry about the about how these words are formed. I will get to that in the coming weeks. When you want to greet someone, you can use oh goodness, the marker's bad. You can use yeah, just deal with it. You can use Angati Kameya. This is the one that's used in the film most often. It's from I see you and I U C. Now these things don't worry about, I'll get to them later. Another way to say another way to greet someone is another way they used in the film. Kalte. Now I like to I like to end those phrases with with my brother. Ma usually indicates evocative. I will get to that when we get to verb tenses. Smukan is brother. It can be replaced with smuke or the plurals smukan smuke or the neutral plural, where there is no uh, gender involved, smuke, no, smook, or smukte. I'll get to those when we go to get to nouns. My favorite greeting, however, is... You might recognize it, or you may not, as the first... Um, as the first line that is spoken in Navi.
alve ut ario engia nau masapnok rutok sivei. Now, this is in basic three, basically three parts. Our first meeting, the Great Mother, and smile. It means may the Great Mother smile upon our first meeting. I have to make a, men a special mention here about this word. I've been trying to find it for two years and haven't been able to, so if you know where I can find it, I've tried Learn Navi, I've tried everything I can think of and haven't been able to find it. Now, usually after you greet someone, you ask someone how they are. I've often seen fiape nga, which means how you. This is terrible Navi grammar. This how is actually more of a how do you do this process. Okay, a more correct version would be Oh, hold on. A more correct version is Sorry about that. Let's get right back into it. A much better way to say it is Naru Lu Foam Srock. Um, I feel the need to actually describe this one and define it for you guys. Naru is you, Lu is be, Fom is how, kind of like Fiape is how for how do you do this as a process. Fom is more of a uh, how are things going kind of thing. Srock is a word that indicates a yes or no question. Now, how are you doesn't sound like a yes or no question. Actually, but uh, here's what it is literally. You are well. In that case, Srock makes perfect sense. Uh, yes, I did um, mistranslate Fom. Fom means well or well-being. Those are very important uh, phrases to use. Oh, uh, sorry, there's one more, and this is actually my brother's favorite from the film. That means a rock sees more. More sees a rock. A rock sees more, it's kind of like an insult, and it's um, something Sute says, and yeah. It's just a fun phrase to say because people don't know what you're talking about. Okay, I guess that'll do it today. For today, I'm sorry this video is so late. Next week will be a different story. It should be on time. If you want to learn more, go to www.learnnavi.org. That's where I got my resources and my main way of learning the language. <coughs> I am Rick the Avatar. Kievame ute ewa nga. Oh, wait. Um, before we go, my gr my uh, <clears throat> my salutation. Kievame ute ewa ngahu. Kievame ute ewa ngahu means see you later and A will be with you.
<laughs> so now that we know that, Kievame Ute Ewangahu, I will see you next Wednesday. This is Rick the Avatar signing off. <laughs>